Hi, I've just received my RISE desiccant dehumidifier from Inventor, so let's open the box. And we have an instruction manual. And this has a handle, so you can lift it right out. What distinguishes the RISE dehumidifier from the rest of the Inventor dehumidifier series is the unique design and upgraded desiccant technology which guarantees efficiency in solving humidity problems. The RISE desiccant dehumidifier has no compressor, so it runs quieter, and it absorbs moisture from the air rather like a sponge. This cutting-edge technology means greater efficiency at lower room temperatures. The absorbent desiccant dehumidifying wheel reduces the room's humidity during its rotation and an electrical resistance heats the desiccant element, discarding the collected humidity directly inside the water bucket. It's also a huge benefit that it runs in cold areas with a frosting problem, which makes it ideal for use in cellars or other areas with room temperatures well under 15 degrees. Incidentally, many customers have reported that due to the warm air being released by the unit, they've noticed an actual increase in the room's temperature. On the top we have the control panel and carry-in handle. And at the back we have the air inlet and water bucket which is removable. And in here you'll find the water drainage hose. There are two ways to remove the collected water. Before proceeding make sure the unit is switched off and unplugged. The first way is to use the water tank. When this is full an alarm will beep and the waterfall light will illuminate. To empty, carefully remove the water tank. Pour away the water. Carefully return it. Plug the unit back in and it will automatically restart. The second way is to use continuous drainage if you have a floor drain nearby. To do this, remove the water bucket. Thread the drainage hose through the front of the water bucket and attach to the drain outlet. Replace the water bucket. Make sure the drainage hose doesn't have any sharp bends in it and that this end stays lower than the drain outlet and place it into the floor drain. When the unit is complete, you're ready to position it. Don't block or restrict airflow around the unit. Check the air filter is clean and the water switch is in the right position. Allow 30 centimetres of clearance around the unit. Place it in a vertical position and allow two hours before initial use to avoid malfunctions. On the control panel we have the power button, which switches the unit on and off. If the unit malfunctions, an alarm system will activate and the unit will automatically shut down. We have the water fill light when the tank is full. The fan button to adjust the speed of the fan. The mode button to select between turbo, eco, normal and high mode. The swing function. timer button to select between 1, 2, 4 and 8 hours. And the ionizer button. By activating the ionizer, negative ions are released to purify the air and remove unpleasant and unhealthy particles. It's really important to check and clean the air filter every 20 days. To do this, make sure the unit is turned off and unplugged. Remove the air filter and clean this using a mild detergent. 
Don't use abrasive cleaning agents and don't put this in the dishwasher. Make sure it's completely dry before reattaching. The water tank should be cleaned every two weeks to prevent mould, mildew and bacteria growth. To do this, remove the water tank, fill with water and a mild detergent, clean thoroughly, empty and rinse. Do not apply any water on or into the device while cleaning, as this may cause rust, insulation deterioration or electrical shock. Always keep the unit in a vertical position when operating, moving or cleaning. If the unit is misplaced or tipped or you see any water leaks, switch it off with the power button and remove the power supply. Never operate the unit by switching the power supply on or off. For more information, please refer to your manual and don't forget to go online to activate your warranty.